Guys, new segment. A new segment theme song. An actor prepares till he's unawares of you. It's more of a thinking intro. Um, welcome to our newest segment, An Actor Prepares. Now, one of the, uh, as every actor knows, that uh, sometimes the greatest show isn't the show that's happening on stage. Sometimes actors have very complicated warm-ups and things that they do to prepare themselves for each show. Here to share with us uh, something that they have created themselves, please welcome to the stage Mr. Dion Flynn and Mr. Josh Radner. <laughs> That was the theme from Benson. Um, I think, I don't know, I don't watch a lot of television, I'm more of a theater person. Um, guys, I'm so excited to have you there. Uh, here, Josh and Dion, I, uh, I've been friends with, years for, with friends with you for years. Josh and I met doing a play at New York Stage and Film. That's true. And that's how I met Dion as that's right. well. I came up there and met you at a restaurant and you were one of the funniest guys I'd ever met. Woo! Back then. <laughs> Oh boy, that's that was very crazy. funny. Get a couple fried brie sandwiches and me. Um, so, but you guys, seriously, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, so tell me a little bit. How did you guys meet one another? We met at New York University's graduate acting program at the Tisch School of the Arts. Oh wow! Wow, I have heard of that. That's a small community college downtown. Good yeah. for you guys. Actually, one and a half billion people audition every year. Dion likes to inflate the number. Okay, eight hundred. Eight hundred. It was only eight hundred thousand. Uh, eight hundred. <laughs> One of them's here tonight, one of our friends is here tonight. But yeah, we went there and it was this very um, insular kind of thing. You leave society for a while and you learn how to stand up straight. I mean, I used to talk like this when I went in there. When I first came in that mobile, I was like, what? What you gonna teach me about Shakespeare's shit? And they were like, straighten your body up. This is true. Straighten your body up, finish your words. They taught me about diction. They taught me about Shakespeare. They taught me how to talk like a white man. <laughs> Me too, which I was very, very happy about. Now, in, during that vocal training, you guys right. have you developed uh, an interesting exercise or a game. Tell me a little bit, of, and it's called uh, clanging, is that It's correct? called clanging, yeah. Well, uh, we, it was second year in the dead of winter, and we were quite bored and losing our mind. We'll set the scene. And uh, we were um, doing a play, and Dion uh, came up to me, you know, uh, Killing some time. I think we were in tech rehearsal. Right. That's a term. That's a theater term. And uh, he took. He had a, a leather glove. It was and a, a little, big. I had a big. Yeah. This is a point of disagreement. It was a dainty little Huge. leather women's glove. Large, woman's large woman. masculine O.J. Simpson double homicide glove. That wasn't what it was. It was a dainty little woman's glove. Enormous, and it was still spattered with blood, if I recall. <laughs> We're never except so hard was blood on it. Three it's hours point. later. Yeah. Oh, 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 and he so, slapped and he slapped me across the face and he said, I challenge you to a duel. And then uh, we changed it up a little bit and, and then he hit me and then I changed the wording from of challenge you to a duel. It morphed kind of on its own. And the rest is history. We at one point dropped the glove, which sounds filthy, but we let, we got rid of the glove and we Continued playing this word game for now years. Like 18 years. We, 17. We, years. We, 17 and a half years. Yeah. 1.5 billion players worldwide. No. So now you're going to share this. Uh, and this has turned into a performance piece. Uh, we've we've taken it public. This is just a strange thing we did for about 15 years by right. ourselves. And then one day we said, well, maybe if we wrapped people around us, maybe they'd want to watch. Because, well, we could tell you a lot of other stories. Actually, we're actually doing this story, this the, the whole story, January 5th at the People's Improv Theater. But don't come to that if you hate what we do in a minute. 
<laughs> You'll have a bad night. You'll have a bad night. Because it'll night. be more of what you hate. <laughs> what you hate extended. So, uh, to get you guys started, yes, right. on, uh, in, on one of these... Wait, wait, we'll just oh, say one oh, more oh, thing. Please, go. This is just a verbal tennis match. So, we'll take a... We'll get it... To, and we'll th we throw it back and forth. There's only two rules, right? Yeah. At least. Yeah. One of them is... <laughs> you just... You keep it going. You don't stop. Right. And it's a totally legitimate move... Yes. ...to repeat what the person said right before you. Yes. And you, and you so don't you hear us repeat, you go, oh, they couldn't think of anything. No, that's a legitimate <laughs> move. Yeah, it's right. our game, we made up the rules. So, Boom. Boom. So how can I help? What do we need to get from the audience? Well, could you get us this, uh, maybe a, a suggestion that maybe reflects something of the theme of the night or something? That, that would be my pleasure. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I've been asked to get a suggestion that somewhat reflects the theme of the night. Does anyone have a suggestion? I heard sleigh. I, 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 I heard sleigh bells and yard work. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I give you clang. Yep. And this, the, the, the one last thing I'll add is the clanging actually refers to uh, it's something. I had a, a spiritual teacher. I said to him, "We do this thing." I showed it to him. He said, "Oh, schizophrenics do this. It's, it's, called, it's called clanging." Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> too schizophrenic. No, uh, clanging. What was it again? Sleigh bells and shipyard work. Sh sleigh bells and ship that yard work. Could you slay those bells and ship my yard work? Let's cut out the bells and up the yard work. Hey, buddy, let's cut the ball talk and ship out my yard work. Don't cut my balls off, I'm just the gardener. Hey, <laughs> hey, stop, hey, I don't care if you garden the place, don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. I, I'm not good at gardening. Don't. Listen, don't cut me off. I'm here to do the garden. Just don't cut me off. I, all I want to do is my love of gardening. Listen, man, don't cut me off. I just want to tell you a little bit about gardening. Look, I just want to tell you a little about myself and my love of gardening. I just want to talk to you a little bit about my love of gardening. Can we just talk gardening? Can you and I just talk about gardens? Look, I'm just going to put, put it. I want to watch The Secret Garden. I, no, <laughs> I'd like to just watch, I'd just like to watch The Secret of the Gardener. <laughs> Listen, if there's one thing I love, it's that secret that Chauncey Gardner has. <laughs> if there's one thing I love about Chauncey Gardner is that he's still here. If there's one thing I love about Chauncey Gardner is that he's still here. If there's one thing I love... <laughs> if there's one thing that Chauncey Gardner loved, it was being there. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's being there. If, the, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's being here. If there's one thing my spiritual teacher taught me, it's don't be here. <laughs> there's one thing my spiritual teacher taught me, it was don't pay him in advance. <laughs> I had quite a bad spiritual teacher. He asked to be paid and then he left. Uh, I had quite a bad uh, case of the spirits the other night. Uh, I paid for them and then I left. I'm going to pay you for the spirits and I'd like you to leave. I'm going to pay you for that bottle of spirits and then I'm going to leave. I'm going to pay you for that bottle of spirits that I'm going to ask you to leave. <laughs> I'm going to pave this road with a bottle of spirits, and then I'm going to ask you to leave. I'm going to pay you, and I'm going to ask you to go rogue. Now leave. I'm going to leave you if you go rogue on me. Don't leave me. I'm just a rogue in search of love. I'm just a rogue in search of a robe. I'm just a robe. I'm just a robeless rogue. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just wearing my bath rogue. <laughs> I'm just going rogue in the bath robe. Guess what? Under this bathrobe here, I'm going rogue. You know what I mean? <laughs> Under this bathrobe is a rogue operator. <laughs> Under this bathrobe, I just applied some Rogaine. <laughs> <laughs> Under this bathrobe, I applied some Rogaine. Don't ask. <laughs> Under this bathrobe, I just applied some Rogaine. Now looking like a Sasquatch. <laughs> I'm Bath Rogan, and I am the Sasquatch spokesman. Hi, I'm Bath Rogan, and I'm here with my... I'm Bath Rogan, and I'm here with my pal, Seth. Seth? I'm Bath Rogan, and I'm here with my brother, Seth. I'm Seth Rogan, I'm here with my brother, Beth. I'm taking a bath with my brother, or my name isn't Seth Rogan. Our movie got stolen from Sony, we're taking a bath with Seth Rogan. That movie didn't do well, it took a bath. That, if that movie doesn't do well, I'll take a bath in Seth Rogan. If that movie does not well, I'll drink Seth Rogan's bath water. If that, if you, you just threw my movie down the well, and now I gotta take a bath in Seth Rogan's water. Well, if Seth Rogan can bathe in that water, so can I. Look, the way I, 
way I look at it, if that well water is good enough for Seth Rogen, it's good enough for you. <laughs> if that bath water is good enough for Seth Rogen, it's good enough for Jews. Listen. If Seth Rogen was Jewish, he wouldn't be complaining about the I'm pretty sure Seth Rogen's not Jewish. I, I think you'll find that Seth Rogen is not a Jewish name. I think you'll find that Seth Rogen is very Jewish. I think you'll find Jews here. There are Jews here. We're in New York. We're in New York. Of course there are Jewish... There's nothing wrong with Jews. They're everywhere. There's nothing wrong with being everywhere. There be a being there and being everywhere. That's what being Jewish is about. <laughs> Obedient there and disobedient there. That's what being deceptive is about. Listen, don't call me deceptive. Listen, don't call me a Decepticon. De Listen, I'm taking this one up to Decepticon 5. Listen, man. There's a Transformer emergency and I need you at Decepticon 2. I, I, I'm all the way at Decepticon 3. I can't get there. Bow, Bauhaus is in the way, and I'm at Decepticon 2. I'm listening to Bauhaus over at Decepticon 4. <laughs> listen, man, if, I'm just your neighbor. If, you could, if you're going to listen to Bauhaus, just bring it down to Decepticon 2. <laughs> listen, just, just bow it down and let's bow out. Listen, just bow down to me and back out of the room. I don't like that part about bowing down to you. What I'd like you to do is bow to me. I think that I'm the king. You should bow and back out. Uh, I'm going to back this one out as your king. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and back one out if you get me. I'm gonna back one out and it's a king size. Oh, I'm gonna have to back one and break one now. I'm going up the local show computer and back one out and it's a king size. Back one out a king size. Here. I just backed one out of the king's side. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna back one out on the queen side. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to back out on that part in the queen. I'm gonna have to back out because of my love of Queen. I'm gonna have to back out of our show with Queen. I, I'm thrilled to be performing here with Queen, but unfortunately they couldn't make it. <laughs> and that is clanging. Thank you.